Any questions? Me? Yeah. Um, yeah, um, what would you say your favourite subjects were at high school and primary school? I remember when I was very young, it started off being maths, that's where it began. And as I progressed through the years, I mean, by the end of primary school, I was the best person in the class, probably the best person in the local area at maths. When high school came along, it sort of deteriorated. Indeed, all of my subjects deteriorated because of what was going on at the time. You know, back in 2008, 2009, things were getting much worse. I wasn't keeping on top of things as much. And um, obviously when I was in uh, the state that we had, depression, anxiety, all of that stuff, the last thing on your mind is going to be your, uh, your academia. Um, so that's where it really fell away. Um, so much so that in 2011, after we'd gone through all of the uh, online schooling and everything else, um, I only ended up taking the GCSE in uh, maths, um, grade C, and um, not even um, a GCSE. Can I interrupt you there? Can I interrupt you there? Um, you mentioned at school you felt somewhat depressed and suffered from anxiety. Um, do you believe the school could have done much more to help with that? And do you think schools in general should do more to help with those certain issues? That's not really for me to say. Um, they have done a lot more since then, um, I, I, but, but I don't really attend schools anymore in any capacity, not even, you know, I, I don't know what they're like anymore, so yeah. it's not really for me to say what they should improve, but uh, there will be gaps. Hmm. But of course, in high school, one of the points that I had a few subjects that were really relief points for me. Music was a lot of fun. Uh, some supply teachers I really enjoyed having. So when, when one day, you know, a week or two when a teacher had been off for ages, like, oh yeah, this is real fun. Because uh, the supply would be in for about two weeks in a row of a science, for instance, or whatever else it might have been. Um, but school was, on the whole, really, really poor. And there were lots of intricacies at the time, uh, a few things that go about young people's minds, how they work being one thing, uh, um, stresses and how those stresses were released. In my, in my case, not going to go into details, um, the stress was released in a uh, counterproductive manner, which infringed upon the rights of others, um, and that was an issue that maybe the school should have seen sooner. Could you, would you mind going into that a bit more? Please? I think it's best if I didn't, yeah. uh, because other people were involved. Yeah. It was where my journalism career started, basically. Oh, yeah. um, I started doing um, newsletter editions about what, what was going on in, in the school and such. Um, and we talk, uh, it, it talked about all sorts of things. It was very, very fun to begin with. It was happy, smiley. Eventually, we started doing interviews, and, and, and this person that I interviewed was probably on the spectrum too. Um, and he was very much, um, I don't know, aloof, uh, not really interested in, in what other people thought. Uh, yet, in the same way, um, just seemed extremely odd, even by anyone's standards, I have to say. Um, and did interviews. Uh, wrote articles about this person, pretty, pretty slanting articles. However, my defence always to this day and beyond is that he always gave me permission to write these articles um, and produce them. But this was a different me back then, obviously, things were so much different. Uh, it, it's very difficult to get caught up on that. Um, and then in 2010 um, was when I first started to go to ASMA, the uh, Autism Society of Greater Manchester area. Uh, that's where I met Michelle uh, for the very first time and it's so difficult I guess to explain how nervy these first encounters were after everything that had been going on. I hadn't left the house in 10 months. Um, I would not, I, I'd be extremely anxious in public places, uh, physically. Um, I know a lot of people share that issue today, 
um, no problems here in the middle of Edinburgh talking to you on the camera um, but that's taken that, that's the, 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 sub t the sum total of seven years of preparation uh, I've got no issues here because of seven years of building 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 first online mainly I wouldn't talk at the youth club in 2010 for 10 months I wouldn't talk to any of the other young people uh, it took about 10 months for that to happen and in 2012 I became a volunteer that's how things changed things changed rapidly through the um, what I may want to call the online relate renaissance of 2011 um, when I would really start posting a lot online yeah, yeah I'm just going to have to call a shot